The first reactions to Sonic Movie 3 are officially here, and they are insane. Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Speed Super Sonic, guys, another video in this video today. That's right, it's officially time. Sonic Movie 3, people have officially started to see it. The movie had its London premiere recently, uh, just as recently as yesterday, and everybody who went there is officially able to give their first reactions, but not just that. There have been press screenings all over the US for different people, members of the press, different organizations, stuff like that, so they were able to see the movie as well, give their first reactions. So we have a lot of different things to go to, and I think I already kind of spoiled that the reaction to it is overwhelmingly positive, but I think that could have been assumed because of how hyped this movie was and also the fact that the movie just simply looked good from all the promotion we were getting from it from trailers to the way that the filmmakers were talking about it you can kind of feel the passion ooze out of this film in the marketing material so it's finally here and it's finally time to take a look at what people are saying about the movie now of course these aren't official reviews just yet these are the reactions coming from all of these different individuals I don't know exactly when the review embargo lifts but the fact that reactions are coming out this early is a very good sign sometimes studios won't allow this to happen until a few days before the movie comes out or the day of god forbid that's a bad sign so this happening so early is clearly a good sign and from the reactions we know why so let's take a look at what everybody is saying we're going to take a look at a bunch of these different tweets of people giving the reaction i'm so excited so let's take a look all right so we're going to be taking a look at this article right here from the direct they've compiled a bunch of different quotes from various different outlets and stuff like that and individuals involved with those outlets giving their first reactions so the first one right here is from comic books chris killian i hope i said that right called the three the best of the bunch, posting that it is not often that each movie gets better in a trilogy. It's not often that- oh my god, that voice crack was crazy, holy crap, I'm sorry. It's not often that each movie gets better in a trilogy, but Sonic 3 is the best of the bunch. There's action-packed goofiness, a plenty thanks to Jim Carrey pulling double duty, but what I didn't expect was a surprisingly moving performance from Keanu Reeves. He also mentioned a third act that will surely make longtime Sonic fans weepy-eyed, as well as some jaw-dropping post- credit sequences. So a third act that might make Sonic fans a little weepy-eyed. Also, there are two big post credit scenes, so avoid spoilers. It's clear Jeff Fowler and crew have a great affinity for the blue blur, and he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So that is an amazing thing to hear. Not only that is the best of the bunch, but also everything that he said. Specifically, and something that I'm sure we're going to hear, is about the emotional aspect. We know that Shadow has an emotional backstory, an emotional core, so hearing that it really dives into that, but also that the final act makes fans weepy eyed knowing that there is an emotional core they're trying to pull at heartstrings this isn't just some soulless action movie where oh you're supposed to point and go ooh and ah like you're actually feeling for these characters and it elicits an emotion out of somebody is very very promising so i'm very excited to see how that translates one of the biggest aspects of the sonic movies that resonate with me the most is that emotional core the fact that you're able to relate to these characters the fact you're able to empathize with them and the real real characters something you don't get to see too much in other media at least with the big emotional moments whether that be due to Sega mandates or whatever, Paramount really has their own playground and they can do whatever they want with these characters. So hearing that just the movie as a whole, but particularly Shadow and Keanu Reeves' performance is an emotional one is very, very exciting and very promising and that's great to hear. And of course about those post credits, we actually have a video on that coming out tomorrow. But yeah, that's great. So let's move on to this next reaction. James Lister from Get Your Comic On was similarly positive, keeping platitudes on Jim Carrey's performance as Dr. Robotnik as well as the movie's electrifying action and truly touching moments. So Surprising no one, Sonic 3 is the best Sonic yet. It's also the best video game adaptation to date, with electrifying action, truly touching moments, and Jim Carrey doing what he does best. Sonic 3 marks a wonderfully chaotic end to the year. What an utter blast. Now that, that is another big piece of, of high praise. Once again, touching on the fact that the film has an emotional core, so that is great to hear, but him saying that this is the greatest video game adaptation is high praise. Well, the reason I hesitate to say that is because we know the, the lackluster history of video game movies. We know the Mario movie was a massive success, now is the highest grossing movie based off of a video game, and I'm sure there are a lot of people watching this that love that movie, and that's great, but me personally, I wouldn't call that necessarily a great film. Film. It just had all the makings and its marketing and just it being a Mario movie by Illumination to be as big of a success as it was. The movie didn't really review all that well and it hasn't really carried on a massive legacy since. And while there's a lot of really other great video game adaptations in movie form, I think the Sonic ones are really ones you can point towards to those being kind of the catalyst for there being a movie renaissance with video games. And hearing that this is the best of the bunch, uh, not just with Sonic but in general, is, is very high praise, so that's great. The Hollywood Handle shared in its review 
that while the first two Sonic movies felt like kids movies, the third film feels like it's aimed at young adults with its story and tone. That's really interesting. So Sonic 3 nears perfection and is easily the best film of the trilogy. While the first film felt like it was a kids film, this third film feels like it's aimed at young adults with its story and tone, although the jokes never fail to find their place for the younger audience. Keanu Reeves is the perfect casting for Shadow, who is handled with great care and has a story that's emotional and powerful. Jim Carrey's return turns the dial up on his charismatic and energetic characteristics. Ben Schwartz, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, and Idris Elba are an unstoppable trio that bring the film together with their vocal performances. So that is that is very great to hear. Near Perfection is, is very, very high praise. Now, I, I, I don't know if I can go into this expecting a perfect film. Uh, I am almost setting myself up for disappointment with how great these reviews are popping out. I don't know, maybe I'll live up to the expectation. But I don't know if I'm expecting a near perfection of a film from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. First of all, I don't think any movie is perfect, near close to perfect. And my taste in film is, is very different from a Sonic the Hedgehog movie or and stuff that I would look at as being quote unquote perfect. But nonetheless, it's still great to hear. And, and I'm just very happy to hear about all of the Shadow praise. I never expected the Shadow to fall flat or for people to say that Shadow didn't work, but I'm just surprised to see on the level that the praise that Shadow is getting in this movie and Keanu Reeves' performance as him, so that's great. Twitch creator HZ Joe also mentioned the idea of getting teary-eyed during the movie's final act, remarking, I cried out of sadness than happiness. Oh my god, oh my god, I cried out of sadness than happiness. Bro, that third act was insane. My heart is racing. Ah! Very, very short reaction there, but that is great to hear. So I, I guess we're going to be bringing our tissues to Sonic Movie 3 at this point, which is just fine. I love to cry during movies. It doesn't take a lot to get that emotion out of me, so if, if that happens, you'll get my out-of-theater reaction with tears streaming down my face, and, and we'll have a good laugh about it. Matt Ramos was not as hot on the movie, calling out the movie's action as a positive, but said its emotional moments felt hollow. Well, we don't really need to listen to Matt Ramos, because he almost drove his manager to suicide, and he's known for being a problematic person within the Hollywood Insider community, but I guess we'll read his review and see what he has to say. I liked Sonic 3. It has the best action in the trilogy by far. Keanu is perfect as Shadow. Jim Carrey doesn't disappoint, and there's a lot of cool moments, but the big emotional ones felt hollow to me and didn't move me the way they did in the first two films, which were also funnier. This film is constantly racing towards the next action sequence and felt a little generic in its story. There's still really cool stuff to see, and I enjoyed it for the most part. I just wish I liked this more. But once again, we don't really care about this individual's opinion because they seem like a very terrible individual, so we're just gonna move on. Meanwhile, freelance journalist Ryan Grr, I'm so sorry if I said that wrong, Ryan, called the film a Marvel movie mixed with a Minions movie mixed with Spy Kids, for both better and worse. The only way I can describe Sonic 3 is as a Marvel movie mixed with a Minions movie mixed with Spy Kids. Everything from the franchise, good and bad, is multiplied by 100. Shadow remains the coolest fictional character in history. So that is, of course, great to hear at the end. And I, I don't really know if I can gauge if that's a positive review or not. Obviously, he's saying that there's some positive to get out of there, but there's some negative to get out of there as well. I'm happy that the movie is taking some extremes, which is cool to hear, but I guess we'll see how that turns out. An interesting description for the film as Sonic being mixed with Marvel minions and, and spy kids. And Daniel Baptista, I hope I said that right, from the movie podcast, mentioned that Sonic 3 is a fan's dream come true, while again mentioning how good Keanu Reeves is as Shadow. Sonic Movie 3 is an absolute blast and a dream come true for Sonic fans. Keanu Reeves is effortlessly cool and brings so much raw style and intensity to Shadow, whose origins fans will love to see brought to life. Heartfelt, hilarious, and hands down, the best Sonic adventure yet. So that's really good to hear, for the most part, outside of Matt. It seems like everybody's really, really enjoying this movie and saying that it's the best out of the trilogy and that those emotional moments hit. So not sure why it, it didn't hit for some people, but it sounds like it's hitting for most. So that's good to hear. And we'll see if that resonates with me or not. You never know, maybe I could agree and be like, actually, that movie wasn't emotional. They, they tried to, but they failed. But we'll see if that happens. I don't know. You guys know I was relatively mixed on Sonic 2 when it first announced. I'm not some shill, all right? If I don't like Sonic 3, I'll tell you if I don't like Sonic 3. I'm just saying. I probably won't not like Sonic 3. The Washington Post Gene Park compared the movie to the Dragon Ball franchise, outing that outside of a few expected cringe jokes, this was a hilarious story. Sonic 3 rules. It's the closest Hollywood has made to a Dragon Ball movie. There was plenty for a longtime fan to clap and cheer for, which I did in a mostly empty theater, and outside of a few expected cringe jokes, this was a hilarious story. Interesting comparison to Dragon Ball. We heard that there's a lot of anime influence in this movie in particular, so maybe that's going to come out in the 
the action sequences and maybe the third act in particular we'll see and Christopher Mills made sure to point out that the visuals and action set pieces are unlike anything seen in a Sonic film Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is the best Sonic movie to date in all uppercase shadow stories handled beautifully with Keanu Reeves perfectly in capturing the character any fan of shadow will be happy with what Jeff Fowler has managed to deliver the visuals and action set pieces are unlike anything seen in a Sonic film take the coolest thing you could imagine and times it by 1000 that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 that's a glowing review that is a that's amazing the year so that's awesome it continued mentoring the love and enjoyment that is clear from Jim Carrey's performance as two different Robotnik characters you can feel the love and enjoyment in Jim Carrey's duo performance which reminded me of the Grinch at times you also can't forget about Ben Schwartz Colleen O'Shaughnessy and Idris Elba who are just the perfect trio and help bring this film together with their vocal performances stay for the post credit scenes for a surprise I I, I think I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not just coming to this movie for the for the post credit scenes but these post credit scenes are they're really intriguing me and I'm, I'm getting a little antsy here these reviews definitely help these reviews are definitely very exciting and oh I should say reactions they're not reviews just yet I'm very excited for this film and I'm very blessed that I'm able to go see a press screening of this I see it on the 17th so I get to see it a few days early so I'll be able to give that review to you guys once when the review embargo lifts so I'm so excited for that I'll be sure to post an out of theater reaction uh, we'll see if that thumbnail is me with tears rolling down my face with with, with the sonic render somewhere on the screen or if it's me looking real mad, but I, I doubt that's gonna be the one. I, I'm pretty confident after hearing this with the Sonic fan I am, it's gonna sucker me into into really loving this thing more than any human probably should. Yeah, these reactions are tremendous. I, I couldn't really have hoped for anything more. But with all that said, I am so happy with this, and this is where I pass it off to you and ask what you think about the first reactions to Sonic Movie 3. Did they impress you? Are you happy to hear about it? Or are you a little worried about some of the other reactions that maybe we didn't review just yet? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you have to say. Feel free to follow my social media links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. You can follow those fun things in my life, future content, and all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. This is the number one this edition on YouTube for all things Sonic. Whether it's video games, TV shows, movie conquests, merchandise, and more, we talk about it all. Like I said, Sonic Movie 3, it's heating up. We're right around the corner from this thing, or right around the corner from when I see the movie. I, I, I'm getting I'm getting very nervous right now, and I have a lot of videos to make, and I'm really stressed. You know, I got this work, you know, all this. Uh, it's a lot, but I am so excited. I cannot wait. I love all you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow with another Sonic movie through video. Peace out. And be right by the motherfucking seaside dog. Everything I see, I got a dream. I thought these leaves are gonna take me out the dark. I know everything I wanted to follow with me.